Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. <clears throat> Excuse me. Whenever you're watching this, know that I appreciate you. It is I, Jay, and I'd like to welcome you to another day in our daily life of Jay. Um, it's Tuesday, June 2nd, 2020. And, um... It's 7.45 in the morning. My lips are so dry. And so I did that video yesterday. And I meant every word of what I said. I have no apologies for that video. I meant every word I said. Um, but... And when I said that I was gonna, that I would pray for you all, that I'm praying for all, for y'all, um, I meant that. I, I do that. When I say I'm gonna pray, I pray. I pray. Um. And something that kept coming to that came to my mind this morning um, something that came to my mind this morning was the story about Cain and Abel and the blood crying out from the land the blood crying out from the land and before I remembered that it was the story of Cain and Abel all I kept hearing was the blood crying out from the land the blood crying out from the land And then I had to say, okay, Father, what, what is, what is, where is that? Because I, it's, in, it's in your word. I know it is. So where is it? And he brought to my, to my remembrance that it, it was the story of Cain and Abel. Um, and if you don't know the story, or if you need a refresher on the story, it just Genesis chapter four. Um, Genesis chapter four, like the first ten. 11, 12 verses. Um, and it, it essentially speaks about uh, Adam and Eve um, having two sons. The first being Cain, the second being Abel. One uh, tended the soils, the other tended the flocks. Um, and Abel was the one that tended the flocks and Cain was the one that tended the soils. And they both gave their offerings, but God looked upon Abel's offering with favor versus looking upon uh, Cain's offering with that same favor. Um, and essentially Cain killed Abel. That's, that's the story. And God cursed Cain because he killed his brother. But one of the things, God asked Cain, what had he done? Um, where was his brother? And he said, am I my brother's keeper? And he, he then asked him, what have you done? And Cain basically said nothing, you know? Um, and, and God said, your brother's blood cries out from the land. Your brother's blood cries out from the land. And that got me to thinking. Um... Again, before I even remembered that it was Cain and Abel, it got me to thinking about how the blood of these innocent people that are, that are dying at the hands of law enforcement 
is crying out from the land. Because he's, you know, we are brothers and sisters, essentially. We are all brothers and sisters. Um, not just brothers by race um, or ethnicity. But brothers in that, one, we are human, but two, we are, you know, children of God. We are uh, the heirs with Jesus. We are his brothers and sisters. Therefore, we are brothers and sisters. And if you read that story, if you read that story of Cain and Abel, um, and I apologize for the lighting, the way that I'm parked, the sun is shining directly at me on my pretty brown face um, but if you read that story what you will initially get is that Cain was essentially jealous of Abel um, because God looked upon Abel with more favor than he looked upon Cain based on the offering and Cain more than likely felt that because he was the firstborn or because he was the one in authority by being the firstborn that the favor for his offering should have been just as great if not greater. And I think a lot of times law enforcement because of the level of authority that they have believe that the favor is there for them that they hold a greater amount of favor than a civilian and not to say that they're jealous because that's that's not the case it's not that they're jealous it's just that they believe and this is me my opinion generally speaking um, that their authority gives them the right to do what it is that they're doing and therefore they do it with no consequence in mind Cain had no consequence in mind about killing his brother his blood brother he had no consequence in mind. He was not concerned about the consequences until after God asked him where his brother was and what had he done. He had no consequence in mind until God said, there, is, there will be a curse upon you. And I do believe that, and again, my opinion, my thoughts, that law enforcement believes that what they're doing is okay because of their authority and they do it with no consequence in mind there have to be consequences for the wrongdoing because the bottom line is that we're all human that not one of us is better than the other, no matter our authority. Um, and no, the playing field is not level because laws have stated that because they are an authority, they do um, sit above us um, in, in some cases. They do have um, authority over us but at the end of a very long 8 to 10 to 12 hour shift when they go home when they walk in the doors of their houses or apartments or condos they're human they're just human and that makes them no better than the civilian who 
at the end of their long 8, 10, 12 hour day when they go home to their houses or apartments or condos. They're human. It makes them no better than the civilian. And I think a lot of them forget that because they wear that badge. And, and this is no in, in no way to downplay or disrespect law enforcement. Um, I have a great deal of respect for law enforcement. I just, I don't have a great deal of respect for those that abuse the authority that has been given to them because they wear that badge. Um, I have no respect for those who abuse that authority because the laws of the land say that they have more authority over the civilian. I have no respect for those who take the lives of others recklessly. I have no respect for them. Your brother's blood cries out from the land. All because you thought that your status, your birthright, your station gave you the authority to take it. And now there will be a curse upon you. And Cain's fear was that someone would kill him. Cain's fear was that once God placed that curse upon him, someone would kill him. And God said, no, I'm going to mark you so that no one brings you hurt, harm, nor danger so that they don't kill you for what you've done. Not to say that there won't be consequences. There will be consequences, but they won't kill you. If they kill you, then they will suffer a punishment just as bad as yours. Your brother's blood cries out from the land. Think about that. It's time for me to go in now. It's 8.01.